more vaccines are arriving in the Commonwealth with each passing week, but there are still some major hurdles to jump through. 10 News reporter McKinley Strother spent the day talking with local and state health leaders to find out what's being done. So McKinley, weather caused some issues this week. Oh, yeah, it did, Lindsay. Over 100,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine did not arrive here in the Commonwealth as planned. And that's all attributed to the crazy weather we've seen all across the country. But on the other hand, we did learn this week that we are expecting an increase in the weekly amount of doses that arrive to the Commonwealth. At the beginning of the dissemination of these vaccines, we were getting about 105,000 doses each week. Last week, we administered 130,000 doses. But this week, we got 161,000. 1,000 doses in arms, so some good news there. Here at home, the Roanoke City and Allegheny Health District saw 98% participation at their second dose clinic, this despite the wild weather. So while there have been some disruptions and even the discovery of that new variant here in our area, state leaders say they're not concerned. The federal government is trying to accelerate delivery. It should be happening through the weekend. So I think the Pfizer should be caught up by Monday. Moderna's backlog should mostly be caught up by Tuesday, but no later than Wednesday. Um, and then Wednesday through Friday, they'll start, start shipping the, the non-backlog uh, orders. So here's some news also on the vaccine front, and that is that retail pharmacies and federally qualified health clinics, so think of your neighborhood clinics that serve those who are underinsured or uninsured, they will start to receive more doses next week as well. So some good news on all fronts. Reporting on McKinley Strother, 10 News, working for you.